Oh, it's so bright out here, but it's not at the same time. It's a weird summer for sure. Alright, so more of my backstory. Here we go. I don't even think I started. I know I look horrible. Um, so my mom got pregnant with me when she was a senior in high school. I was born August 10th of 1986 to a single mom who still lived at home and she had a younger sister, she has a younger sister, and then they had me. Um, I spent a lot of time at my great grandma's house who is not living anymore, obviously that was a long time ago unfortunately. Um, her house is no longer standing. It's now a photography place. And I swear it was haunted. I swear. But we'll get to that whole sense in another chapter. Um, so I was raised in that home by my aunt, um, my grandma, and my great-grandma took care of me a lot. I was colicky as a baby. My mom finished high school, and I think she was taking some courses at a local college, along with working at a, um, a fast food restaurant here in town. It's still here. It was actually my first job. Um, I remember being with my mom a lot in the car when I was little. not being very happy in the car, and my mom's on the hood of the car with a male. Um, I think they became very agitated and angry with me because I was sitting inside and there was something going on with my mom and I didn't like it. I remember going with her to a gentleman's house. Um, I do believe he probably still lived with his family. He had a little boy. Uh, they went into a room and me and that boy played in a tent and he touched me. Um, I guess there was some toddler exploration going on there. It's super weird. I don't know, maybe we, we were just like, well that's what our parents do, so it's normal. Alright, so that happened, um, let's see what else, my mom had a boyfriend, we actually moved into his house, it was like a beautiful house, it's actually still standing and it's still very, very beautiful, um, something happened there and it didn't work out, we moved, I think we, we might have stayed at my great grandma's house, which I swear was haunted in the room that I think is haunted or was very creepy. Um, we might have moved back to my grandparents' house. I'm not really sure. Let's see. What else? Um, I remember being in her white Pontiac Grand Prix car, turning the corner, and there was this huge two-story white grayish house car in front of it and it seemed to be a couple arguing. Um, there were a few kids involved and all of a sudden me and my mom are in this house and we're moving in. Um, they get married, she adopts me. I now have two stepbrothers and two stepsisters. Um, it's a gorgeous house. It's beautiful fireplace on two sides. It's just a gorgeous house. We never we didn't have stairs. We had a ladder. Yeah, super weird. I'm like, come over to my house. Come on, let's go to my room. There's a ladder. Um I think things went okay for a while. I don't I don't know. I remember them arguing a couple times. 
fighting um, my mom leaving my stepdad crying uh, I don't really remember how long we lived in the house I know I started something that young girls start you know at a certain age in that house so maybe I was like 12 or 13 but I can't remember um, my dates are really bad um, and they separated uh, I remember something about my stepsister the youngest one um, tried to attack my mom when she was in there taking a bath or something um, police got involved she had already graduated high school so she up and left she moved all of the kids had basically moved out it was just my stepsister and me and my mom and my stepdad um, yeah he up and moved to Florida that's where his mom and dad were living at the time left us here. Yeah, we had to find a new home, which was, we ended up staying at the home of my great grandma other, on my other side. Um, it's still in town, it's by the park. Um, I can remember when the house we used to live in as a family sat there with nobody living in it. It was like some of our furniture that he didn't take with him and stuff like that. I had to go there still after school. I would walk there until someone would come pick me up. Either my mom would come pick me up to take me home because I wasn't swimming. Or I would wait for somebody to come pick me up for swimming with the swim team in another town during the winter time. So here I am in this house that used to fill me up with so much joy and happiness because it was just, I don't know, it was an awesome time. I have a lot of good memories there. Um, I'm alone. It's cold. There's no food. There's no water, no heat, you know. Um, 